Hey, what's going on, guys? So, if you've been following along in the videos, in the last video, I said I'd be doing a setup video of one of the newest Eco Tank printers, the ET8550. Now, I was able to find one of these at my local Office Depot for around $699 retail. It's definitely the most expensive printer here in my shop. So, first, we'll go ahead and get it out of the box and get it out of the plastic shipping bag. Then, we'll just follow the instructions on the start here, God. I'll remove the tape and we'll start by removing any tape that you can see. And then you can check the guide for any other any other areas where there might be tape. I'll go ahead and plug it in and power it on by pressing the power button. And once it powers on, it's going to ask you for your language. In my case, I'm going to select English here. And once we do that, we're going to get our ink ready for filling. We're going to be filling the tank with sublimation ink. Now, I'm going to be using Dynamite Gorilla Sublimation Ink, and I'll put a link in the description where you can get it. Once the tanks are filled, we'll follow the instructions on the screen and take a look at the start here sheet. And it tells us to press and hold the OK button for five seconds. We'll do that and then we'll press start to start charging the ink. Once the ink charge is complete and the printer's done initializing, it's going to go into an adjustment. Now you can skip this process, but I like to run the adjustment on the printer, so I'll be doing it on this one. We're going to load some copy paper into the bottom cassette, cassette number two. The first thing it's going to want to do is a nozzle check. Now my first nozzle check had a couple of missing lines in the magenta, so I ran a head cleaning right out there and it still had the same two lines missing, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and continue by pressing the circle and I'll run purge files later to see if I can get the lines to appear. I'll continue on with the adjustment test and enter my selections as the test go ahead and print out on the printer and that'll make sure that the printer is adjusted and aligned before we continue. After our adjustments, we'll set up the Wi-Fi really quick. We're going to touch the Wi-Fi icon on the touch screen, then select Wi-Fi. Then we'll touch the Wi-Fi setup wizard and let the printer find our network. We'll enter the password, and when it's finished setting itself up on the Wi-Fi, it'll give us a setup complete message, and it'll close itself out. Okay, so once you get everything set up on the printer, we need to download the drivers for the printer. So we need to go click on the search bar, or go to Epson.com. We're going to click on search. And then we're going to type in our model number, and ours is the ET8550, but we can just type in 8550 or 8550, and it'll auto-populate here. We're going to click on the support link, and then it's going to auto-detect your operating system. Mine is Windows 10, 64-bit, and then it's going to uh, recommend you the drivers and the utility combo package. I just uh, installed a driver on mine, so I'm just click on driver here. And then just click on printer driver or click on download for the printer driver. And it's going to ask you where you want to download mine to my desktop here. So I'm just going to hit save. And then I'm just going to run it directly from Chrome here. It's going to right click, click open. I'm going to click yes to this user, ac uh, user account control screen. I'm not going to use this as my default printer, so I'm going to uncheck set it's default printer. If you are, go ahead and keep it checked. I'm going to click OK there. I'm going to click OK for English. And I'm going to click Agree and OK. Now, even though we set up the network on the printer earlier, or set up the printer on our network earlier, I'm going to be using a USB connection, so I'm going to click on no for this, but you can click uh, keep this as yes if you're going to um, use it as your uh, use it as a network printer. After you click OK, it'll find it on the network and you just continue on there, but I'm going to click no for USB. Click OK, and I'm going to plug in my USB cable. Alright, got my USB cable plugged in, 
and you can see that the software has detected the printer so it's still doing its down uh, its installation of the driver now all right so it looks like the printer driver is uh, finished installing we'll go ahead and click OK here and then that'll be the completion of the the printer driver okay so once the driver is done installing what we need to do is set the driver up so go down here to your system tray and right here we're gonna click on this icon uh, right click on this icon and we're gonna click on printer settings and here's where we need to set up our uh, printing presets now I like to set up the presets based on the paper that I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna be using a sub 120 G the legal size uh, so what we need to do is go to uh, our document size is going to be legal uh, we're going to be printing in landscape paper type is going to be premium presentation mat there we go and then our quality is going to be high it's going to be a color profile i am going to make a black and white profile but this one's going to be color so we're going to go to uh, more options and we're going to click on mirror image of course because we're going to be doing sublimation uh, bi-directional printing is pretty much the same thing as high speed printing um, I'm going to keep it I'm going to turn it off here and on uh, color correction I'm going to click on custom and I'm going to click on advanced now this is how I set up my color on all of the ink that I use and for all of the paper that I use so um, some people like to use RGB some people like to use ICM uh, some people use no color adjustment at all I'm gonna go to uh, color controls here and my color mode I always use Epson Vivid I put this on slide bar here and my cyan I put it to my magenta at negative 20 and my yellow at negative 15 now this is kind of just a a starting point uh, for my colors uh, eventually I'll probably go through here and bump up the saturation and the contrast or something like that but for the most part this will get me in the ballpark I'm from the school of there is no universal setting for a printer like each one of these printers needs to be fine-tuned uh, in my estimation but some people like to kind of just tell people hey you can just use this profile or use this setting right here and it'll work for everybody but it doesn't work for all printers are t different from my experience anyway moving on so we're gonna click on OK here and this is going to uh, pretty much be the the profile that we're going to stick with so we're going to click on add remove presets and we're going to give it a name so it's going to be a sub 120 G legal and this is the Epson vivid profile so we'll click on this icon down here use this red lamp here and this is going to have all of our um, our uh, our values here, so that we know what we changed. I'm just kind of doing this by memory here. Everything goes for set zero. All right, so once we do that, we can save it. And now we have a profile that we can use all the time. It's going to have those settings in there. Every time I want to print on my 120G A sub paper, I just go in there, click on this profile, and those settings will already print for me. All right, so what I want to do is close this out. I'm going to make me another one, but it's going to be black and white. Uh, to do that, I'm just going to uh, use this as a base. And then I'm going to change 
the color setting to black and white. And then we're gonna save that preset as a sub 120 G legal. Oh. And then we'll do black and white. All right. And for that, we'll do this guy down here, this black and white picture. Click save. And now we have a color and a black and white profile. And the black and white profile is good for grays. I actually do have a gray print that I need to make, so that'll come in handy here in a minute. So we'll click OK, and now we're done with the uh, color profiles. Okay, so once we got the paper loaded up, we can start printing. Uh, I use Photoshop to print, so we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, first thing I need to do is print a few of these purge files out. When we did the nozzle check earlier, the magenta had some breaks in it. So I'm going to print a few of these purge files out to see if we can help clear that nozzle check up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit print here. Control P. And we're going to select our printer. Our printer is the ET8550. And in the print settings here, we're going to go through and select that profile that we created earlier for color. So we'll click OK here. And now, uh, once it goes back to this screen, those settings are locked into this document um, once we're printing from Photoshop. So if you're using PSD files, once you get it set up here, it'll be set like that for as long as you save the file. So we'll go ahead and hit print. And then I'm going to go ahead and print two more just to make sure. So we'll let that run and see if we can get a clear nozzle check. Okay, so after we got a good nozzle check and got our sublimation paper loaded, we can go ahead and start sublimation printing now. So uh, first thing I want to do is uh, get this uh, sign knocked out for my customer. So we'll go ahead and print that. Now this one, we're going to um, select our 88, uh, 8550, but we're also going to make sure that we use that black and white profile that we made. Um, so we'll go out here and select that and click OK. And we'll print that off. Uh, we don't have to worry about the colors for that one because it's only printed in black. So we'll clear this out of the way. Actually, I just canceled the job. So let me go ahead and print that out again. Normally, I'll turn that... Uh, Epson status monitor off. But anyway, go ahead and select that again. Click print. Okay, while that's printing out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this color chart, finish making this color chart here that I started. Now I just got this um, set up so that the canvas is, I think it's uh, 10 and a half by 16 and a half because I'm going to print it by, print it on some 11 by 17 uh, paper. So, we got a color chart just stretched out uh, to 10 and a half by 16 and a half. And what we're going to do is print it on some 11 by 17. So I do need to set up a profile for that. So real quick, I'm going to go to print. And in here, we're going to select 8550. But then we're going to click on print settings. And we're going to add a new preset here. Uh, but first thing we want to do is change the paper size. So since we're going to be using 11 by 17, we're going to uh, change the document size here. And we're going to go down to uh, 11 by 17 right here. Click on that. We're going to keep everything else pretty much the same. 
So all we have to do is change the document size and then we're gonna just add a new preset to that, uh, a new uh, printing preset. So this is a sub 120G 11 by 17 Epson Vivid. And for that one, we'll use this blue one here. We'll click on save. Hit close. And when we go to print this out, oh, hit OK. And when we go to print this out, as you can see, it's going to go inside the whole piece of paper there. So we'll click done. And when it's printing, done printing that sign, we'll go ahead and print this out as well. Okay, so we got our sign and our color chart printed out. The colors are actually printed out pretty close. The only thing is they're a little light, so I might turn the brightness down just a little bit and bump the contrast up for the color profile, but it's actually printing pretty close as it sits. Now the black and white profile that we created needed to be changed a little bit, and that's just because it looks like by default the driver is set the correct black and white photos to a cooler setting. So the one on the left, that was printed with the default settings, it's gonna look like it has a little bit of blue to it. So to fix it, what I had to do was just go up here to uh, print, and that'll get me up to my print settings. We're gonna print, uh, click on print settings here. And then we're gonna go to our profile that we use to print this, this document. It's gonna be this black and white profile that we made right here. Now, in more options, we gotta click on advanced and you can see by default, it looks like it tries to cool it down a little bit. So what I had to do was go up here to color toning and we're gonna type, uh, click, select neutral and it's gonna look more like the original photo here. And then for tone, we're just gonna go to normal. And then since my printer likes to print a little bit light or I noticed that this printer prints a little bit light, I'm gonna bump this brightness down Oop, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to bump this brightness down to about 10 and we'll start there. And uh, that's where we'll go for the, uh, for the black and white profile. So we'll click OK here. And then we're going to go up to add remove presets again. We're going to select the profile that we made and then we're just going to click save and what's going to happen is it's going to overwrite the settings that we had previously with those newer uh, brightness and contrast uh, that brightness setting that's turned down a little bit and the uh, the neutral the tone neutral setting so that it doesn't look blue or a little bit cool when we print the uh, black and white or in grayscale so we'll click OK here And then we'll close that out. So the next time we go and take a look at this, this profile here, if we click advance, it's going to have the right settings here. We'll click OK. So now that we got that confirmed, we can click OK, OK and close out. All right, so now that we got our color set and dialed in, we're good to go. I'll print out a few more items just to make sure that we got it all dialed in. And then I'll go ahead and move this printer to the printer room where it will remain for the rest of its life. So thanks so much for sticking around for the video. Again, the ink is available in the shop on the website if you want to try it out on your ET8500 or your ET8550. We actually have ink for all uh, sublimation ink for all the EcoTank printers if you want to check that out as well. So until next time, guys, good luck and good night.